Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna be showing you around the previous generation Lexus LX. Now, if you guys don't know, the LX is Lexus full-size SUV, which is basically Lexus's version of the infamous Toyota Land Cruiser. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all about its exterior and interior. So let's get on with it. All right, now starting up front with the front design of the LX, as you can see, this is dominated by this huge Lexus grill. I mean, Lexus is known for um, growing its um, grill size over the years, but in this model, it just looks ridiculous. It's, it looks like the car, entire car has been wrapped around by the grill. And yeah, it just doesn't really look that good at all. Um, and over here, you have the full LED headlights um, as you can see, these are not matrix, so these are just standard LEDs, and they have the classic Lexus L daytime running lights. And below them, you have the fog lights, which are also LED in this case. And yeah, overall, the front is just dominated by the front grille. All right, now from the side of the Lexus LX, as you can see, there's again, not really much to point out. It's just basically a Toyota Land Cruiser with a Lexus body kit on it. And as you can see, the main thing dominating the side of the LX are these huge off-roading tires, um, which the vehicle as Lexus marketed should come with. But yeah, that's the only really thing that's been going on around the side of the LX. You also get this chrome window surround, but that's about it. All right, now from the back of the LX, as you can see, Again, there's nothing really much going on. You have the classic Lexus taillights, which, have, which mimic the L of the Lexus logo. Um, but that's about it. You then have the license plate area, and you have the LX570 badging down here, which means that it's the V8 one. But yeah, other than that, there's nothing really much going on around here. You do have the trunk, and in order to open it, you press the button down here, which it is electronic. And it's also split. As you can see, however, as you can see, the split, uh, the elect, the split tailgate means it's the, only the front, the upper portion is electronically operated. The rear is manual, which you have to open using this, which isn't really again worthy of the price. What is worthy of the price, however, are these seat controls, which means you can essentially put down the entire third row and the second row as well. Um, you're just using these buttons and you can also put them back up, which is really convenient and nice to have. But overall, with the third row up, there's not really that much space at the back here. And in order to close it, you just press this button at the top and it closes right back down. You also get the spare tire at the bottom, just like a Land Cruiser. So that's it for the back. Now let's go to the inside. All right, now the inside of the Lexus LX. As you can see, since this is the old generation, the interior has started to look kind of dated. And this is also another proof by the fact that this car was last redesigned all the way back in 2008. So it's been over 15 years since this interior was released. So things are starting to feel old. For example, this gauge cluster looks super dated in today's world. Like it looks like it could be out of a car from like 2012 and it would still look dated. However, Lexus have done a pretty good job at keeping it up to date. They've added this um, screen inside. Um, inside the gauges to keep give it a bit more modern touch but that still doesn't give it a lot better then we have the steering wheel the steering wheel looks pretty good actually it has a three spoke design with wood inserts at the top and at the top and at the bottom and there are, it also has paddle shifters which are quite which feel quite nice for lexus and over on this side you have um uh, controls for the gauge cluster and the heads up display that this car has and you have the um, seat controls and now moving on to the infotainment now this is Lexus's infamous infotainment system which as some of you might know is horrible to use this is mainly because of the fact that it uses this re remote touch interface which basically Lexus try to copy a mouse um, like you have in a laptop but it doesn't work at all as you can see it takes so much time just to get to one 
area and then you have to press enter and yeah overall it just isn't a really good infotainment even apart from like the control um just to go into climate um it takes so long and then the menus are so confusing that yeah it's just not a good system to use and it doesn't even have all that functionality yes it has carplay but it's not wireless and um, android auto is not available one good thing that you do get is an analog clock which adds up to the classiness of the interior then you also have more um, infotainment and climate control con buttons down here and as you can see this car is equipped with the mark and levinson surround sound system which actually sounds amazing but i can't really play anything because i'd get copyrighted but you just have to take my word for it then moving down you have a wireless cell phone charger down here which is hidden under this compartment and then you have the electronic parking brake and then you also have the gear lever which as you can see feels really old and then you have the remote touch interface with some physical controls and then right here you have all the off-roading controls such as you can use this dial to go into comfort eco or sport and then here you have the um, button for the crawl mode which is basically like a cruise control for off-roading and then you have your heated seats your automatic control for heated or ventilated seats and your cool seats and you also have a heated steering wheel and then you have more off-roading buttons such as differential lock traction control and hill descent control and then right here you have the air suspension control overall while this interior isn't good place to be at it's not really worthy of the price that lexus was charging this vehicle for and even when lexus was selling this generation of the lx a year ago it was still pretty dated and not worth the money so this is the back seat i would say the leg room is pretty standard um for a car this size you have these entertainment screens to keep you company and you have these window shades to keep you from to protect you from the sun however they're manual and not automatic as you would expect from a car this price point you do have or have these climate controls in, in the center console which are rather nice to have um you can control several things from them but yeah other than that it's a pretty standard backseat all right guys that's gonna do it for this upload today if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i know this was one of my shorter videos but then again, there wasn't really much to talk about with this generation of the LX. And, and since the newer generation has come out, there's even less to talk about. But I still hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.